So we're here we have the gearbox assembly. Um, you might hear a rumble of thunder in the background because all of a sudden it's got a bit thundery. This is a rare for Livingston. But anyway, here we are. Now this is the input shaft and this is the output shaft. And if I hold the output shaft to stop any drag and then turn the input shaft you can see that the gearbox is in neutral so the output shaft gears are turning on it but they're not connected to it so they're turning and not moving it or transmitting the power through it so that's neutral now if I take the my pliers, oh there's a bit of thunder and apply oh, the one thing about these gearboxes is you have to you can't remember that it would all be rotating when the gear was selected so just another wee turn and slot it into first gear and there we go the output shaft starts to turn at the highest ratio and then if we turn the selector drum back through neutral we go into oh, give it a turn again and we go into what should be come on gearbox second gear There we go. So now we're in second. Bear in mind that output, or sorry, the input shaft would be rotating all the time. Um, as long as the clutch was engaged, that is. And then we can turn it once more. And we're into third gear. And then once more again, fourth gear. Is it? I think it is. Let's see if it turns one more time, fifth. And there you go, fifth gear. So, going back down the box. Down again. Down once more. You see how it's snicked into gear there as I rotated it. That's what would happen normally on the bike. And then there we have neutral. Oh, it's getting pretty thundery. Looks like we're going to have to get the door shut. And back to first gear. So we'll leave it at that until this thunderstorm passes over, I think. 